Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. Uh, for the newcomers, my name is Didi. Uh, today, again, an amazing day. I want to do a talk, walk and talk on the beach, but it's too windy, so I need to hide behind our Bam Bam Beach bar over here. The view is amazing, of course. Check over there, the bar, the sun is up. It's still pretty quiet. Not too many things on the beach moving yet. Yes, karma is a beach yeah. like a bitch or a beach whatever you prefer guys today's video uh, on x rumble and odyssey talking about a few bitcoin charts not zooming in but zooming out but amazing charts also talking about some news because i've been talking about this news already for a year and you were all like yeah i do know that maybe it is really good at what's gonna happen and but these numbers are showing you something very um, scary in my honest opinion but that, who am i also uh, sharing a trading tip also sharing a travel tip and let's see what else comes to my mind on this beautiful sunday morning on the algarve in portugal uh, let's quickly jump into the charts first because i know you want to see that first to be honest i even don't know if you want to see the charts first but i will start with the charts if you don't like that then leave a comment down below and let me know if you want to have the charts at the end of in the beginning of this video let's quickly jump in the first one bam Before I open the chart, guys, uh, yes, the World Series of Trading uh, on Bybit was a massive success. If you follow my Twitter, you saw the winner of the Lamborghini was announced two days ago. Also, all the winners of the Rolex watches. Guys, if you want to participate in all these cool stuff uh, that uh, the Bybit is organizing every time again for the community, for the traders, and by that proving that they give a huge part of the fees back to the community, then do sign up using the link down below my video. Uh, if you sign up using my link, you can claim a bonus up to thirty thousand US dollar, zero uh, percent trading fees, etc., etc., etc. Just click the link, and you will see every beautiful advantage I have there lined up for you when you sign up to Bybit. Now, the first chart now that I'm going to talk about is this one. It's not like really a chart, but it's more a table. But in the table, we can see in every month and the the performance of bitcoins in those months and august yes was an average sometimes profitable sometimes like um, not profitable but now september if we look to september in the last year so since 2013 then the first year we had a minus almost two uh, percent then we had minus 20 percent then we had a positive one 2.3 percent and six percent also positive then minus seven minus five minus 13 minus seven minus seven minus three what will september give us in 2023 of course people would say now yeah uh, all an average all the september months were negative so 2023 will be negative as well or maybe this time it will be different and now we will have a positive month because we had some positive returns as well in 2016 and 15 guys so maybe um, it is 2015 and 16 copy cycle you know like we've been talking many times about that cycle it, it's it's starting to look like that cycle so maybe um yes we will see a positive one but in average it was a negative one not too big because the big crash already was there but we, we can drop another five percent which would bring us to that 20k level for example guys now next chart and this chart is very important as well this is the minor revenue from fees uh, this is the z score as you can see on the bottom you have red and you have blue areas um, during the bull runs we have a high fee pressure during the bull runs and uh, during the bear markets there is a low fee pressure during uh, during those periods in time so you can see that we switch every time from blue to red now if you now look first to the period in 2019 we went from blue to red and back to blue that was that beautiful run from 3k to 14k and then back again to 4 5k something around that area now that is exactly what we are seeing now as well we see from blue we went into massive red like that was the spike created by the ordinals because so many people were minting the ordinals on the bitcoin blockchain so there was a lot of mining fees paid uh, because of these ordinals just compare it to the nfts on ethereum we saw mass massive speaks in that period of the nfts on ethereum as well now we saw it with the ordinals but we're turning back to blue again so there will be a low fee pressure during that bear market part bearish market i should say it like that because i don't believe it's a bear market anymore we are in the bull run already uh, but we can go sideways and i believe that we will go sideways the rest of the year of 2023 but that is what you can see in this beautiful chart in this beautiful 
technical chart, we can see the bear market, we can see the uh, recovery, and then we can see that bluish pre-halving part. That bluish pre-halving part is the part that we will go into, in my honest opinion, and that will be mostly a little bit climbing part like if you can see the 2015 to 2017 the bull and we can see that the blue part uh, yeah we did bottom a little bit at the bottom and then we went up slowly in the blue part in the COVID crash in 2019 we saw the same uh, we came to that bottom of the blue part and then we went up and now we are almost at the end of that recovery phase so in that blue phase yes we could correct again a little bit go sideways all the way to after the halving and then we get that green part again and if you look at the chart and you look to the left that means looking into history then you can see that that green part always was the bull market and my honest opinion it will be a bull market again and maybe a massive bull market as this bear market already took now almost 600 days that's a very long 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 boring bear market and sideways movements which could lead to a lot of pressure uh, that will pump the bitcoin price up to a beautiful blow off top like we saw in 2017 and in 2013 14 guys now the next chart that i'm going to share with you is guys you need to zoom out even more we have epoch one two three and four that is the fourth epoch that we are in at the moment uh, but there will also be a fifth and a sixth and a seventh and an eighth and a ninth and a tenth and all the way to the year 2140 we will be creating these epochs now we would normally be going up the more the demand is growing and um, united the offers is going to stay the same it's only 21 million maximum in the end um, and there is going to be less bitcoins provided to the market every uh halving so daily i'm talking about so yeah for me that 100k line that we see on this chart could be reached in this epoch you know and then in epoch five we could even reach the, the between 100 and a million and then between in epoch says we could even uh, reach between maybe a million and 10 million uh, we don't know nobody can predict the future but that is if we look at the growth chart that is how bitcoin is growing at the moment and if we can look at the past back to for example and compare it to gold then we can see that when the etfs were um approved for gold the spot ETFs. that's the moment that gold made a massive run and that massive run is what people are expecting at the moment but i will come back to that very soon because i have some news now, the news that i want to come back to guys yes my face is not on the screen with this news um, but the news that i want to come back to is um that that etf approval uh, that you're all waiting and cheering for already for months uh, with blackrock that is this one. I'm going to show you these charts quickly and then I'm going to talk about it again um, later. Because yes, BlackRock wants to become, I think, the biggest Bitcoin holder all over the world. And they are doing a great job at it. Why? Yes, they are requesting an ETF spot approval. That is, of course, going to be given because you know that Black BlackRock is one of the most powerful companies in the world. Uh, but then we can see also, look, if you look at the top five miners, Bitcoin miners by market cap, BlackRock holds shares and all of these miners and especially in the top three so the riot blockchain 6.14 percent owned by blackrock marathon digital holding 6.44 percent hold um held by blackrock guys cypher mining not that much hut mining zero and terra wolf 2.2 now comes to the next part which is also very interesting to understand it's not only these directly owned share shares that they have but it's also about the rest look for example um riot platforms blackrock fund advisors has um 6.14 percent of the stake in that company in uh, riot platforms but blackrock also has 13.8 percent of the stake in vanguard and five percent stake in uh, ssga funds management and 14.9 percent stake in geode capital management and in vesco capital management as well so and by having the stake in those companies as well they have an even bigger stake in the riot mining that is how it works look and we can look further um, for example to marathon also the same again 6.44 for blackrock but also having that 14 percent stake in vanguard five percent in ssga and 14.9 in geode capital so and that we can continue like this but this means that blackrock didn't only apply for a spot etf in bitcoin and i'm sure that they will get it because it's the most powerful company out there and i think they control the government and everything out there uh, and i'm not a conspiracy theorist i'm just 
just a guy that, that sees the data and that sees what's happening in this world. <laughs> and BlackRock is huge. And if they apply a spot ETF, they will get their spot ETF. And if they are holding a shitload of Bitcoins and also have a shitload of shares and stakes in all the Bitcoin miners and also have a stake, for example, in Blockstream, which one of the biggest controllers when it comes to the Bitcoin blockchain and is the creator of Green Wallet and the Jade Wallet and all that stuff, then BlackRock is becoming too powerful in this industry of Bitcoin, in my honest opinion. I don't like that because every industry that BlackRock became very powerful in, the power was taken back to the rich and not given to the poor. So then Bitcoin will be transferred into this new rich man's tool, the gold of the 21st century that is only available to the rich people instead of the peaceful revolution that we should have been creating as the people. And that's why Bitcoin was given to us, to take away the power from those centralized entities that are taking control on the world. And now people start to let go of those norms and values and I completely understand why. Because yes, it will pump our bags. It will also pump my Bitcoin bag. Yes, Bitcoin will go sky high if BlackRock, yes, um, gets that ETF spot uh, approval over there. And also when they keep their stake in the miners and the stake in all these companies that uh, maintain the Bitcoin blockchain and create wallets and all that stuff, then BlackRock is slowly becoming one of the biggest influencers in this industry. And again, I don't like that. I don't like it. I want to have a decentralized future where the people are the biggest holders of Bitcoin. Where we use Bitcoin, an amazing, peaceful, anarchy, revolutionary tool to create freedom. And not give it away again to those parties that fight against our freedom. You know? It is also BlackRock, Vanguard, State Street and all those others that have control on the media, that have control on the pandemics, pandemics, that have control on the vaccinations, that have control on everything else. Uh, and they always, in the last couple of years, have shown us that they only think about one thing and one thing only. And the one thing only that they are thinking about is filling their own pockets, not your pocket, not my pocket, their own pocket. They're filling their own pockets with dollars, bitcoins, euros, any other asset, and they are filling your body with all the stuff that kills you. In my honest opinion, but who am I? Maybe I'm just, maybe, maybe I am a conspiracy theorist. Yeah, yeah, maybe I am. I don't know. Let me know down below if you understand what I'm saying, guys. Let's jump into the next part. That was the news for the day. Now that we talked about BlackRock, who is a major bull when it comes to taking profits, um, yeah, let's talk about the trading tip for today. The trading tip for today is that you always need to lock in your profits. Profit is profit. If you have massive profits or a little profit and you're happy with that profit, lock in that profit. How do you lock in that profit? By putting your stop loss be above your entry or using a trailing stop loss. What is a trailing stop loss? A trailing stop loss is, for example, let's say you are 15% in profit. Then you put a trailing stop loss 10% um, down below that price. So you're still 5% in profit if the trailing stop loss would be stop loss would be hit. Now, if the Bitcoin price goes up, the trailing stop loss keeps the distance of 10%. So that goes up as well. So if the price increases from 20K to 25K, the trailing stop loss also goes up that 10%. So you are always at 10% distance of the price of Bitcoin. And then might Bitcoin fall, then you will be stopped out because of hitting your trailing stop loss. So that's a trailing stop loss. You don't need to pay attention all the time to the charts and a normal stop loss. Yes, you need to manually adjust that. But those two tools help you to lock in profit and profit is profit. Even if you make 2% a day, 30 days, 2% is 60% a month. There is no company or bank or government that's going to pay you 60% interest per, per month, guys. Never be too greedy and be happy with your profits. Lock in your profits so you have a beautiful good night's sleep. That was the trading tip of today. Bam. And now that we're talking tips, we're going to give another tip. This is a travel tip. The travel tip of today is if you travel to beautiful Asia or South America or any other country where you don't know if the mobile network is strong or if the mobile network is too expensive for your provider, you make sure you use downloaded maps. 
There is, for example, an app in the App Store, it's called Maps.me, uh, that you can install. It works the same as Maps or Google Maps, but now you can download the maps of certain areas, so you don't need a 4G or a 5G connections to be planning your trips and everything in these maps. So uh, Maps.me uh, is the one that we are using. Maybe there's other ones. If you know other ones, then leave a comment down below. But the moment you download these maps, for example, of Southeast Asia or Thailand or Brazil, just a specific country that you're going to, the map is on your iPhone and you can always navigate yourself using that map even if you have no reach with your cell phone. So it's very important, it saves you data, like the data that costs you a shitload of money in most uh, foreign countries, and it also um, saves you the stress of not having reach with your cell phone. So download these maps always, that's the travel tip of today. Bam. Then there is one more advice I want to give all of you after the seven years of traveling. Yeah, we did some experience. Uh, my experience is it's mostly the small steps that make the biggest difference. It's never those giant leaps that make the biggest and stable difference for the rest of your time. It's these tiny, small steps that make the biggest difference to your life and it will change your life completely in the long term. So if you want to change your life, don't think only about big leaps like we did, like sell everything, go all in. You can also start to take tiny steps. You can start to dollar cost average into Bitcoin and just go on a trip for three months or maybe two months or even one month, baby steps. And if you after three months decide, wow, this life, this is amazing. I want to keep traveling, then make it five months. And maybe that five months will turn to seven months. And maybe those seven months, like our story, will turn into seven years. But it all started with small steps. The small step for us was selling the house. Maybe the small step for you is selling the car or selling your bike to invest in Bitcoin. It doesn't matter. As long as you understand that it is not always depending on a huge leap that you need to take. Small steps are often more powerful and in the long term more efficient for you guys to change your lifestyle into this new lifestyle that you want to achieve. So don't be afraid of taking these small steps. If you're afraid to take these huge steps, then take small steps first, just like a baby. You start to learn working with baby steps and then you start to run and then you start to sprint and then you start to jump and then you start to do all the other stuff that a baby couldn't do do when it was just born that was my advice for you guys out there i hope on this beautiful sunday you are enjoying your day if you are enjoying your day and you did enjoy this video give the video a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell leave a comment whatever you want because i have been working my ass off here in the sun my eyes is like almost burning because of the sun i'm gonna zoom out now like i always say i'm gonna zoom out in bitcoin i'm gonna look at the bigger picture i'm not freaking out about the mini charts and i'm gonna zoom in at life now with the family a beautiful beach day, a beautiful breakfast, all the small things that really matter to me to become happy every single minute of the day. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow again on X, Rumble or Odyssey. Bam!